Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Uh, my name is Monica Wanjiro Thetu and I am born again. I love the Lord as my personal savior. And I am most humbled for an opportunity to share the word of the Lord this wonderful day. Before we hear the word of God, I would like us to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before your presence. We honor and glorify your holy name for who you are, Jehovah God. We thank you for the blessing of new day, O oh God. And we pray, Jehovah, as we hear your word, that your word will teach us, your word will encourage us, Jehovah God. May we be led of your spirit, Jehovah Father, for it is in Jesus' name that I pray and also give thanks. The word of God today is taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5. From verse 1 to 2, and I read Ephesians 5, 1 to 2. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrance, offering and sacrifice to God. And today's sharing has a title, Keeping True to the Calling keeping true to the calling and many times when the word calling is mentioned the thoughts that come around our mind is profession, career, the jobs that we do day in day out which is true but the kind of calling that I want us to discuss today is calling to be imitators of God, a calling that uh, forms the basis of our way of life as Christians. And who is this God that we are imitating? At very personal levels, who is God to you? Is He your Savior? Is He your protector? Is He your help? Is He your joy? Is He... Who is He to you? Because we know the character of God in the, in the Word of God, it is well written. He is ever present, therefore he will not leave us, not forsake us. He is a light in the paths when it is dark. Praise the Lord. And therefore, it forms a way of life to us as Christians because we have to imitate God day in, day out. Therefore, we can imitate God even in our professions, in our careers, and even in the jobs that we do. And we are asking ourselves whether we are keeping true to this very huge calling that has bestowed upon us as Christians. And I have come up with three questions that if we answer them correct, we will know whether we are keeping true to the calling that God has called us to this wonderful day. And the first question is, what is the motive behind everything good that I do? What is the motive of everything good that I do every day? The second question is, am I consistent in the changing times? Am I consistent in the changing times? And the third question that I would want us to ask ourselves today is, do I obey the Lord? Do I obey the Lord? The first question is about our motives, and motives are intentions of why we do things. And in the Bible, our motives are tested in three areas. I would like to refer Matthew chapter 6 from verse, uh, from verse 1 all through. And Christians are tested in the area of giving, in the area of prayer, and in the area of fasting. And what I want to ask ourselves this wonderful day is, what are the intentions behind the things that I do? What are the intentions behind the things that we do? As Christians, we are meant to do good things. And as human beings, it is very easy to do good things when we are recognized, when we are seen, when we are winning, and when our interests are met. But today, we are reminded that we are not going to do things to be seen, but our ultimate intention should be to glorify God in everything that we do. Therefore, is my intention right to doing this good thing? Is it to be seen, to be recognized, 
or is my ultimate intention to glorify the Lord? Praise God. We are encouraged to do everything with an intention to glorify God. And to be able to do that is to put God at the center of everything that we do. I repeat, we are called to, to do everything with an intention of glorifying God. And we can only do that if we put God at the center of everything that we do. The other question we were asking ourselves whether we are consistent in the changing times. And here consistency is in our character. And if there is any uh, one person in the Bible that really understands the meaning of changing times is uh, when we read the life of Joseph. Joseph was, was sold by the brothers. He was put into the pit. And when he was sold, he went to, the, to serve in the palace and he ended up in prison after he was accused strongly by the Potiphar's wife. And after he was in the prison, he was later appointed to be in charge of Egypt. And the Bible records that even the king did not bother himself with what Joseph did because he was sure that everything would be right because God was with Joseph. And as Christians and Kenyans at this time, we are we really understand what changing times are, especially now we talk of abnormal times. Life is a combination of seasons, good seasons and not very present seasons. But today we are reminded that in the changing times, we have, our character has to continue remaining consistent. We will be tempted. Times will be good times will be bad, but our character has to be consistent, has to remain the same. Praise the Lord. And for us to be able to have a consistent character in the changing times, we have to depend on God because he does not change even in the changing times. Praise the Lord. The other question we were asking ourselves is, do we obey the Lord? God is the one who has appointed us into this calling. Therefore, we have to comply to the given instructions. God is the one who has called us. Therefore, we have to be under his shepherdship. Therefore, we have to follow and comply with every instruction that God gives us. And God will speak in his word, will use his people to speak, and he will speak to us at a very personal level through revelations when we pray and seek him. Sometimes we might ask ourselves, do I really have the energy to comply with the given instructions? But what matters is not the instructions, but the one who instructs, praise the Lord. We have asked ourselves three questions. And in the world that we are living today, the environment is, very, is not very conducive for us to continue remaining true. But the questions we have asked ourselves are very, very personal. Therefore, if we answer these questions right, we will truly remain faithful to the calling of imitating Christ. Why are we meant to imitate Christ? Christ is not, or rather God is not here on earth, but we are the ones representing him here. Therefore, he will glorify himself in our lives. And the other thing is that our calling has an everlasting reward. Therefore, let our motives be true. Let us obey the Lord and let our character remain true in the changing times. It's in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.